Hi, in this slide we're looking at some loose areolar connective tissue. Now this is not what it actually looks like in a typical section. Uh, this is actually a spread, so it's kind of spread film. So someone has actually removed some of the uh, loose areolar connective tissue that would have found, been found underneath an epithelium uh, and they spread it out, kind of stretched it across so that it forms this wide sort of thin layer. Uh, and that's really mainly just to show how spread things are apart and just to make it easier to see the individual collagen bundles as well as the elastic fibers that are found within this tissue. Okay, so let's take a closer look. Let's zoom in a bit. So here we go. Here we're looking at the 100 times magnification, total magnification, so using the 10x objective. What we can see here is just kind of a mess of fibers and a bunch of small nuclei. And so these eosinophilic fibers are type 1 collagen. As you can see, this collagen is fairly randomly arranged. And so there's no specific orientation to this. We have fibers going off in different directions. So it's kind of a, a mesh on which all the fibroblasts will sit. And so those nuclei that you're seeing are mostly belonging to fibroblasts. Uh, some of them might belong to macrophages or mast cells, but with this stain in particular, you really wouldn't be able to see uh, any differences between them. It would be very difficult at least. So you can pretty much assume that most of these are fibroblasts. Let's zoom in a little closer so we can see if we can pick out some elastic fibers. This was stained with orsein, so you do have some elastic fibers visible here. And so here we go. This is 400x total magnification, so we're looking at the 40x objective here. And again, you can see the nuclei of the fibroblasts fairly clearly in most of these cases. bump up the contrast a little bit. Camera's working against me here. Okay, so we have some nuclei visible very clearly. These would be the fibroblasts. You can see they're sitting right on top of the fibers which they're producing. Okay, and so these eosinophilic fibers are the collagen fibers. And then periodically we'll come across something kind of looks like a hair-like sort of thread, much thinner sort of structure um, that is more of a, a black staining sort of fiber. This one, for example, here, that would be some elastic fibers here. Again, if we scan around, you'll probably see a lot more of them. They're not eosinophilic. They have to be specifically stained for. Once they kind of stick out a little bit.